On the left of each question, there are boxes that contain shapes and the code letters that go with them. Decide how the code letters go with the shapes and then work out the correct code for the test shape. Find the correct code and mark its letter on your answer sheet. 7. Here then we're going to consider the letter codes we're given and the figures that go with those letter codes and then we'll use what we discover to write the letter codes for this figure. So let's start with the top letters in each case and when you're working on this kind of question it's useful to look for a repeated letter. Here you can see the letter F repeated here and here, meaning these two figures must have something in common. You can see it's not the line to the left of the figure as they're different in both cases, nor is it this element towards the centre. The bottom triangles are in the same orientation but they're shaded differently. However, the triangle at the top here is shaded black in both cases. So this must be the thing they have in common and it means that top letter references this element within the figures. So F stands for a black triangle pointing downwards. G references a triangle like this with its point up like so and line shaded. And H represents the same type of triangle but shaded white. Our triangle is line shaded in the same way that this one is. So that means G must be the upper letter in this code. Now we look at the lower letters in the same way and this time we have the repeated letter Q, meaning these two figures must have something in common. In fact, they have two things in common, the line towards the left hand side of the figure and this central element in both cases. So let's think about the line style. If it's the line style that's represented by the lower letter, it means that our lower letter would need to be the letter R to match the line style here, which is the one we have in our figure. But there are no codes which are GR, so that can't be the case and it means that that letter R must represent something else. The other thing that the two figures have in common, of course, is this central element. So that must be the thing the letters represent meaning Q stands for this, R stands for this, and S stands for this. This is the same as our figure, which means that S must be the lower letter, and GS was therefore the full code. Be very careful when figures share more than one element, you might need to use a process of elimination. The letter code that you look for will be present in the right way. It might just mean that one thing is there as a red herring to put you off the scent. So be very careful to check other elements which the figures have in common. You can show the correct answer of C on the answer paper like this.